Dr. Vivek Gupta, senior cardiologist in the Perth Apollo Hospital, joins us. O.P. Yadav, CEO, National Heart Institute, New Delhi, is with us as well on the broadcast. Let me begin with you first, Dr. Gupta. Uh, now, it's, it's very, very important that we get this demographic vaccinated as soon as possible, isn't it? As India is a young country, a bulk of our population is young and in this age group of below 18. That's true, uh, Uday. We have been watching since morning, and there have been a lot of patients, young patients, not patients, sorry, people, young people who are getting vaccinated. I would like to give you some figures which are very interesting and which is a little scary also. 33,000 infected. You all know, but for the repetition, I want it's very important. 33,000 infected in one day yesterday, despite Sunday, which is, a, of course, a less, in, uh, whenever you're testing on Sunday, it is less than that. Secondly, Delhi has active cases of 7,000 and there are over 104 patients already hospitalized with oxygen support and four patients on ventilator. So these are pictures which tells the, the country that we are still, we can still face problems, whether Niti Aayog member Dr. Paul uh, prediction of 14 lakhs per day will be true or not, we don't know, but we don't want it to be true. But the way Omicron is increasing, we have to be very, very careful. And uh, I would also want to tell you, other than vaccination for children, that when we had a grab, which was a graded action response, uh, why uh, the government of Delhi is still not been able to put up the red or uh, orange alert, uh, despite the positivity rate about touching to five and number of cases coming about uh, 3,000 per day. So at this point of time, I would like to tell you that vaccination will be very simple, but the challenge for the government is 7.4 children, population 15 to 18, in 10 days, that's a big milestone to be achieved. But the way India has done successfully for the adults, the same thing will happen with the children, except that the vaccine hesitancy should not be there. But I think that the vaccine hesitancy will not be there because their own parents or brothers or sisters or grandparents have already got vaccinated. Earlier when we begin, the January 16, when Honorable Prime Minister 2021 inaugurated the COVID shield at that time, first during the first three, four months, there was a major vaccine hesitancy. The reason it was coming was, first of all, it was a new vaccine. Secondly, there were, of course, some side effects which were shown. And thirdly, COVID shield was actually put on hold in Europe for some uh, thrombo thrombogenic uh, side effects other than what mild fever and uh, rashes. So it was put on hold. When Covaxin was introduced in the middle of, uh, or early middle of uh, 2021, we did not see many, many uh, side effects. At that time, people learned to live with this. And of course, the side effects were easily controlled. The point which I have to put out is that not only the, for the children, there are hospitals doing it, but there are also outreach centers, which are, of course, the good government schools, where they have doctors and the nurses available. So uh, we have to, the day one now, we have to watch till 5 p.m. how many will be vaccinated. Until tomorrow, we'll see if there are some minor or major side effects or not. I'm sure that it will not happen. Major will not be there. So that will give a big sort of a message to the people that no side effects, of course, the hesitancy should not be there. You see, the, the child is always a precious to the parents. They can get vaccinated themselves, but when it comes to their own child, they will take some time to think. And there are, of course, people who are still watching in the COVID app. Uh, the number of registrations are not that great, which we expected. But I'm sure by the evening or tomorrow, we'll have a more number of registrations. And since they're also doing online uh, registration, so that will be simple. And I have done myself for one of my almost like a daughter, she will get vaccinated in Apollo Hospital very soon today. So the COVID app, app registration is very fairly simple. So the another thing which I want to point out that the, the we were talking about the medication somebody asked. So I would not like to put off all the medicines which were used in Delta because a lot of studies have shown remdesivir is useless. A lot of studies have shown ivermectin is not useful. Hydroxychloroquine is of course ruled out. But I will tell all the doctors who will be treating these patients, or maybe mild, I would say that other than seeing the guidelines, they should their, apply their own discretion. Because if I have to treat somebody, considering that ivermectin have been useful in at least in early stages, monoclonal antibodies have come, but there are specific indications of comorbidities and 60 plus or 45 plus and doctor's prescription, and also it's very expensive. But the, we could, should not forget about 2G, and the government should come back with a DRDO, uh, our own research with 2-deoxyglucose, which was very useful in mild to moderate cases. So these, these things should be remembered. Just don't take it as a mild flu and, of course, give antibiotic. And one of the antivirals should always be given. I always give feel as a person. Guidelines are there only to guide you, not to completely 
uh, command you. Therefore, the doctors have to use their own discretion in treating the patient. And if it is COVID positive, they have to give some antiviral, whatever way. So this is the point which I want to make. And secondly, I would like, I don't know how much, how many have been vaccinated till today, but 10 lakhs people, uh, sorry, young children, 15 to 18 in Delhi, about 1 million. And 10 days time, it will be a good thing. Tamil Nadu has 33 lakhs. Uttar Pradesh has about 50 to 60 lakhs. Young children, the same to be vaccinated. I think it has to be a big task for the country and the, for the healthcare workers to go ahead and vaccinate the people. And good thing is that I don't think there will be any crunch as far as co-vaccine availability is concerned. And a good thing is also that COVID shield is still not been approved. The good thing why? Because COVID shield has little more and whenever you have the comorbidity patients. One more thing I would like to, there are 15 to 18 obese children or they have some comorbidities, then the parents have to be careful. Comorbidity means we have seen a lot of 15 to 18 if they have suffered from some disease. Recently, for example, if they had fever one, one month back, if, during the last four weeks, then I would say that they should not go blindly to the center. They should take the help of the doctors, local doctors, and they should also do the CRP, C-reactive protein test, which is there. And if that is less than one or within the range, then they should go ahead. So comorbid or any patient, any young child who has had any history of fever or any other disease during past one month, has to be a little careful. Otherwise, it is very simple. Go and vaccinate yourself. Thirdly, I would like the government of India should take more initiative. And because very soon, 12 to 15, uh, uh, the, the age group will also be in included very soon. I'm sure after this 10 days are over, then 12 to 15 will be introduced. And this will be more challenging because they are younger children. And in case the inoculation, vaccination, if we can have this nasal vaccine which is also developed by the bharat biotech it's very important to note that this nasal vaccine is coming as our own indigenous technology which is again a uh, adeno vector uh, spike protein related uh, vaccine this should be introduced phase one and two trials are already done phase three trials are already started if we can have this uh, emergency authorization of this nasal vaccine that will be very very helpful because you don't need to break you don't need a major healthcare worker to do it it's just a simple nasal vaccine and if this is to be introduced within two weeks time, then young children will be easily uh, uh, vaccinated. This will not be inoculation, this will be vaccination by the nasal vaccine. And this should come as soon as possible. So I think the news X, I would like to congratulate that they are doing such an important job in getting the uh, education to the children. No hesitancy should be there. They should try to vaccinate their children as soon as possible, considering that their own themselves, most of them have vaccinated. India has a target of 64% fully vaccinated adult. And about 90% of first dose vaccination has been done. So these things are very important. And I would again would like to tell you that the medications should be judiciously prescribed by the mind of the physician rather than completely guidelines. I would still like to do, although Remdesivir has not shown major trial in the recovery trial data, Remdesivir is a wonderful drug I have, we have been using in Apollo Hospital also. It has shown utility, especially if it is given during the early stages. Steroids should be avoided. One thing, a very important caution I would like to tell. In Delta, a lot of people left and right steroids were used and that was a little dangerous because steroids given during the first week, if it was Delta, the first week when the virus is replicating is actually dangerous and that helps in further immunocompromising the body and that was dangerous and that was the reason, one of the reasons why a lot of patients went into oxygen support. Steroids, not, no need in Omicron, not at all because it's mostly mild to moderate disease, mild disease or rather. And of course, rem deficit should not be completely ruled out.